Hello everybody, welcome back to more Wizard of Legend. As you can probably have already figured out, we are doing a very air-focused run. We got the, uh, spinny sp <laughs> spinny whatevers, the air spinners. Kind of a weird basic attack, but I, I'm interested in it. We have a, honestly, I should show this stuff off down here. Uh, I got a dash that will pull enemies with me. Seems kind of dangerous, but also seems kind of cool, especially when we pair it with something like our, uh, our right click there. Or we can pull him with and then push him away with our signature. And then we're rocking the uh, Royal Flush, which makes it so if we have a lot of stuff of the same element, which we do, it does more damage. So, very air-focused run. What is air weak against? God, I should know by now, but uh, it just doesn't stick with... I should, like, write a little thing on a post-it note and stick it right above my monitor. Honestly, I think I might do that after this, which is... Maybe embarrassing, but who cares? I kind of want to try to pull somebody uh, into a pit like that. Can it happen? Ah. God, it's, it's not seeming like it's going to be easy, but I think it could, uh, <laughs> it could probably happen. But I want to figure it out. Oh, you can. It's so dumb to try to do that, but I'm happy to know that we can do it. I mean, thankfully, uh, you don't fall into pits just by running into them, unlike Gungeon and stuff of similar variety. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I love the spin to win there. All right, I'm actually terrified. There we go. Ooh. Oh my god, I really, really like this. I'm not as terrified of spinning into those little barrels there. This build seems strong. It seems really strong. I'm, I'm a huge fan of the Royal Flush, and I, I love that there's all these uh, different artifacts that lead to completely different uh, strengths in the beginning. It, you know, it's a big, big, big thing for uh, variety's sake. You're coming with me, chump. Yeah, okay, okay. Still getting the hang of hang of things, the combos that we can do here. But I like the we can take them with us. Ah, shoot. And you're gone. The signature charge for uh, for our Q seems real awesome. However, it, I feel like it'll be better on bosses or, or enemies that can't be pushed away, because it seems, I guess that seems a little, a little silly. Scales of Babylon is an air move that lowers cooldowns. Ooh, and gives increased... Okay, thought that would work. Gives increased movement speed. For every enemy hit, I believe. It'll, it'll work really well after this move. You know what we should... This dash attack is good. I And I just figured out why. It seems really good. But... Eh, not against this guy. Because, ah, he cannot be pulled. But we can use it as a combo extender. Against anyone except for the guys that can't be moved. Ah! Because we can hit him with this, dash to keep it going, effectively, because the hit's done. That's the way to do it. I mean, clearly that didn't work, but... Ah! Does this... That doesn't break projectiles, does it? I don't want to use my special on ya. I guess I shoulda... Yep, shoulda. We are really low. Really low. 200 health? I must be goofing around like crazy. You can't goof around in this as much as a lot of other roguelites. God, that's such a... God, I hate that they... Can knock you out of your move so easily. But the uh, the whirling move seems like a move for me. Okay, I'm really a fan of that double health drop because we are totally messing stuff up here. So if we hit them... Oh my god, if we hit him into the... Whoa! He gets stunned in one direction. Not stunned, per se. Uh, 
uh, Scales of Babylon or Vampire's Eyeglasses. We got a lot of hits. We don't have any extra kind of crit from anywhere. So... I'm gonna fight the boss and see where I stand after that. That worked really well. Okay. Can we stun him by push him into the wall? I mean, I guess we don't really need to, but... That worked real well. And there's a lot of health. Hmm. I don't know. We don't have any extra crits. Definitely don't want uh, Pathfinder's Map or Greased Boots. Wait a minute. Oh, Greased Boots would be real cute, though. Assuming that it increases the length of the gust. If it didn't increase the length of the gust, it would be actually bad. Oh, you know what? Let's be... Wait. Let's be good boys. Let's go for Arcana. It just works really well with that move. Because at the end, we can get a guaranteed cooldown reset. And we could almost... Hold on. Like, could we reset the cooldown of our spin this could get stupid this could get really stupid if we get some ways to decrease our cooldown uh that didn't work how i thought it would but i'm happy with how it and it up oh, okay thank you for the help oh my goodness it's all the way down there you're joking, you're joking. Can't believe my little pink wizard eyes. Boop. Oh, damn. <laughs> when you can't even hit a freaking barrel. An explosive barrel, nonetheless. Eh, we're not gonna trade our arcana. We want air stuff. We want a lot of air stuff. Okay, let's be less dumb. I almost wish we just had our basic, uh, basic, basic, basic attack. Like, the most basic of basics. I think it would, uh, just work better on average. Oh my goodness, I was right. Oh my goodness, I was right. This is gonna be amazing. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Golden armor of enemy increases our armor, but makes us lose money when we get hit. Broken plague flask. That's not the one that decreases their health, is it? Broken plague flask. I, gotta, I should have this up. Like, all the time. Wizard of... Because... I don't want to just sit here and Google too much, but uh, I want to. I want to learn. Lowers the health of the player and enemies by twenty percent. Let's do it. Let's do it. I think we can. I think we can make that work. The real question is if it decreases the health of bosses too. Duh. Bad. Ah, double bad. I would imagine it decreases your health. Oh, that is so good. We can do them. We gotta make sure we. Ooh, ah. Oh my god. You up there, you little snot. What was I gonna say? We gotta make sure we do what? Oh, probably like cast all our spells before we do our Babylon business. Because we get more out of it. Like, we should probably start with the push. Thank goodness they added that. I really, really am pleased with that <laughs> choice. Yeah, yeah, this is working well. 
Whatever this whirling move plus the uh, scales of Babylon just already by itself. It's just m music to my eyeballs. Tearing Whirlwind. Move and spin even faster, dealing more damage. Sounds like something I want. Just seems better in all regards, right? Sail on all this stuff. And by that, I mean just the Sinister Ledger. This increases fire and lightning damage. Sinister Ledger, don't remember. This has a chance to poison. It's a sprite with a chance to poison. This adds an extra attack to our combo. Maybe I want that. But I don't even know. Where's everybody? Bloop! Get in the wall! No, get in the wall! We got 160. We can we can buy something. Ay ay ay. And they went out of range. I don't know what to spend my money on here. Do we have one more show? Ah, uh, not a fan. We can handle it though. Like these these small rooms, they're actually not a problem for us because of this move right here. What the hell? What is Sinister Ledger? Fine, I'll Google it. Sinister Ledger, Wizard of Ledger. <laughs> Wizard of Ledger. Increases damage for enemies defeated but loses effectiveness when taking damage. Ah, uh, fine. Fine. Maybe we can... That, plus, like, the lower health on the enemies, we could start to do some craziness. Ah, my goodness. I was trying to push you into the wall. I don't think we really can. Ow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't like where my health is. We could break some stuff and get some health for the before we fight the boss, or we could take a risk and just fight the boss, because we get a little bit of health beforehand, and if we win, we get some health afterwards. I'm gonna take the risk. I'm gonna wager that we're gonna do better against bosses. No, I mean, actually, we have we definitely have room clear as our priority for our build. AoE. So, I don't know. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> I messed that up. No. Nah. No. Nah. Okay. And this is the one I really don't like. Shoot. Yeah, we're definitely not a single target kind of guy with our build right now. Shouldn't risk that. Now nah, you son of a gun. Yeah, I mean that's fine. That's all right. Get some good health here. Flame Cleaver. Carve out a wave of flames. Ignite all enemies. Cleave with both hands to create a wider wave. I'll take it for now. Hopefully we can replace it with an air move. Or does this mess up our, our flush? Can I drop this? I can't tell if that means... That means it's active, right? Like, we don't need to have all air moves for it to work, do we? Well, that's kind of nice. Portal's activated immediately. Okay, so wind is good against Earth. We're going to destroy these fools with their decreased health and our extra effectiveness. Blasting Sprite Aura. Hmm. Super Carrot Cake. Probably should get Super Carrot Cake since it's still pretty early. 
And we took the health down already. I want to just blow those up to... Okay. Let's get the caca carrot cake. Boop. Thirty-nine percent. I feel good about this run now. I felt confused before and happy now. I mean, just look at that. That's crazy. And the fact that the more we kill, the more damage we're going to be doing. Oops. That's what I meant to do! I kind of like having this fire move just mixed in here. Oh! So it doesn't look like it matters how many we hit with the uh, skills of Babylon. Kind of seems like it just does what it does. Uh, why would I do that? Oh! There's an item over here. What does this one do again? Hey. Increase the damage of your signature. Just straight up. I like it. Oops. Yep. Ooh, that works so well for people over pits. It yanks them into it. Gust volley. Tempted. Oh my heavens to Betsy, that is just a beaut. Oh my goodness. I was really hoping there'd be health in there. Okay. Ooh, Yeah, we can really control a, a room of... Ooh, an AoE room. It kind of stinks that we're going to have trouble against bosses, I'm sure. Look at that confidence. 94%. Where to? Oh. Visit this area. We're missing a shop, aren't we? Ah. Okay, well. Ah, I, see, I don't know. I don't know that we're going to be able to do this. Ah. Maybe. It's gonna be close. Uh, we would have to like start it up perfectly. I don't know. Yeah, definitely shouldn't be dashing in there. It doesn't do enough damage to be warranting any effort. So I think we wanna like go bow, bow, bow. Nope. We wanna try to get the scales of Babylon to reset it. Reset our queue. Um, Q, Q, Babylon. Even then, I don't, I don't think we can do it. Oh my god, we actually almost did it. Ah! I don't know. We're like, we're kind of close when I just mash. Reset. Does he stay on? He doesn't stay on fire. How much damage is this doing? I think we really need to be hitting him with our basic, though. It seems like that stuns him quite a bit more. I don't know that it's going to be possible. It's. It seems like it. Maybe it's possible if we like do things perfectly or we get some really good crits or something. Or if we could just, like, build up our charge. Okay. 
Yeah. I don't know how much time I want to spend on it. So I guess I will just book it. Maybe we'll get something good from the boss. Ah! No! Probably should just be fighting the ads first. There we go. Or we should have just saved up our special. That would have been the way to do it. Maybe we could have. Crashing meteor? Call that a meteor from the skies. Let's try. There we go. Thank you, crashing meteor. Ward of winds. And as a reward, we got... Ooh, what do you do? Slows enemies and increases all air damage done in the area. Oh! Oh, hell yeah! Summons... Okay, slows. Only one spark. Okay. Blasting? Blasting slows them? I don't know. That doesn't sound like the correct choice of words for that one. But whatever you say. <laughs> okay, we actually did manage to pull him into the pit there. Oh. Aww. Come here. Go. Oh. So it does 41 damage just because... Ward area is increased and also increases fire damage. Or is it my little blasting thing that's doing the damage? Holy crap, though. We're doing pretty dumb damage. Pretty, pretty dumb. Oh, sorry to scare you. Oh, please. Maybe we should just like speed run. Speed run to the boss at this point. Yep. I like those numbers. They're really large. Really large. Whoop. 41. I mean, it's, 41's big, isn't it? Ooh, it's genius, genius. Yeah, okay. That was not nice. Half of your current health, and you get a chance to revive. Or you don't get the cha chance, but uh, you do revive. Ha! Huh? Come on now. <laughs> Why can't I do this? Why can't I do the simplest of tasks? Bonk. And probably wasted a lot there for that, but. Okay. I really, really would like to heal up. Uh, that! No, 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 no. Oh my god. Insane. And we went the wrong way. Why did he... Why do they keep on spawning that, like, on my face? Thank you. Pieces on the fence. I'll take it. I know it's late, but armor is insane. Every point of damage received. Okay. Okay. 
Does this stack? My heart says no. But my body says maybe. So we still haven't found the boss, right? It's over here to the right. Indeed. No, uh. oh, no. Risky, but it's fine. Yeah, that's that's pretty strong. So low health uh, briefly removes the cooldown on our yeah. Seems good. But now we have to fight the boss. Maybe this is a good thing, though. I have been generally leaving the first and second floor bosses with more health than I started. Third floor, not so much. I feel like last time I did get kind of messed up, though. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Shouldn't have worked. Oh my god. He was ready for me. Once again. No! The, ooh, the ward blocks. So, um, excuse me on that one. God, I just, that move is a bunch of malarkey. It's one of the ones that I really don't understand how you can uh, how you can dodge it. I know you can, but it's just so wonky. Gust volley. Piercing. Mm. I don't know. I guess I'll keep it for versatility. But I was hoping we would enter this floor with more health. Weird. Now is air weak against fire? Enhanced scales of Babylon sounds good. It increases the uh, cooldown reduction. Maybe. Ooh. Ah, you gotta be kidding me. Maybe it would increase it enough that, uh, uh-oh. Ah, our move would be completely, huh? Reset. Okay, okay, okay. This floor is definitely more frustrating. When we can set up a little bit, things are nice. I'm doing this. Scales of Babylon, I will try to get you. I will try. I wish we knew how many pages we had. But Thesis on Defense has proven to be one of the more stupidly strong items. In the corn. Oops. Shoot. Nope. Is it? Increases all air damage done in that area. So is that if the enemy is in the area? Or if I'm in the area? So those are different things. Hey! You know what? Just get out of here. Just, just dis uh, disintegrate. What? All right, I'm ready for you guys. Come here. All 
How much was the battle on upgrade? We might have enough for it. Ah! God, I got stuck. Got stuck. It was my fault. Ooh, no! No. Pull him in, pull him in. Nope. Come on. Come on. Just erase him. Just erase him. And there we go. I'm going to run back and just see if we have enough for the Babylon upgrade. I thought it was 125. Maybe it was more, though. Gonna have to do a bit of running. It's worth it though. If we if we get a full reset on our spin, that'd be pretty cool. Cause the there is that slightly okay, it is 125. That slightly awkward time in between like when we do the scales of Babylon and we can do our right click. So we'll see what happens. Maybe it's just percentage based though. What are our odds of victory here? Ah. The longer we live, the better our thesis on defense gets. Uh oh. We can definitely do this better. We want to try to uh, be using those like 24 7. Oh, yes, that resets it completely. Can we just, like, delete ya? Oh, come on. Oh, come on! Just evaporate! Thank you. We could just fight the boss. Got 91 gold, though. I think I probably want to heal up beforehand. Had to buy how many health potions this time? What? Is that... <laughs> These guys are... The death of me. What is... Is it be... Hold on. These guys suck. Is it because... They're, they're little rings? I'm pulling them in and their ring is hitting me? Is that the, the whole deal? If so, I hate that. Passion. Oh my goodness. That's probably what it is. If so, those guys are a hard counter to my build. I gotta just cue him, cue him. I think that's what it is. For some reason, I thought those were just things that get shot out. I guess they're a, they're an orbital, a damaging orbital. We do have a uh, the halo that will bring us back to life at low health. We already made our health sacrifice for it. Okay, if I would have known it was this far away, I probably would have. Just taking a portal. <gasps> we already bought that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Where's the missing room? Over there. All right. Well, here's hoping it's uh, the health room where we can trade in our can. I I would trade. I would trade one of my spells for health at this point. Sure. Sure. Are there no more? There are enemies clear. They're just all the way up there. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I don't know much how much health we would get. Maybe I should have picked up the tiny crocodile heart, though. I just... I'm a... You are kidding me. What a dummy. What a big old dummy. Ah. Okay. Well, we got 100%. Maybe we should just die. Maybe we should just die. 
because I think we're going to get teleported out of the fight. Yeah, is that, isn't that right? We get teleported out of the fight. We'll see, because boy oh boy, I'm fully prepared to uh, take the L on this one. Ah, there it is. 119. Um, I thought I was under the impression we would have no cooldowns. Uh oh, that was really dangerous. Oh my god, what am I doing? That shouldn't have worked. Shouldn't have worked. But we get some health. Get the infinity marble. Hmm. What is the three gorgeous ball work? I don't remember. Let me search. Gorgeous. Produces water damage taken. Well, the next boss is fire. I don't care about that. Destructive abacus. We don't have enough money for I guess I will take the tabby because that is a chance to evade. And boy, we do need that. Give me surprise health. Nope. Okay. Really banking on finding the shop early on the next floor. We have the defense up. We have the chance to evade. We're getting health from the cake, but I, I don't know how much that's really helping us. I'm quite a... No! Not like this. Not like that. Just... Okay, apparently that, uh... I'm, I'm terrible right now. I'm, like, I'm losing it. Alright. Where are they? I could just go around. I don't care. I'll, I'll do that. Oh, hey! No. I know I need to put down my thing. Okay. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind being a dummy. Ooh! I'm bad feeling about this hallway. Okay, this hallway's fine. I'm bad feeling about this room, though. Ooh! Oh my god! Ugh. No. Don't make me do this. <laughs> oh, no! No! Well-deserved death. Very well-deserved death. I played like a big old doof. God, weird, weird build in the end. Like, I, I liked it, though. Like, I'm happy we did it. But what is my biggest problem with it? Honestly, I wish we had Wind Slash. I don't care that it's simple. I think we would have gotten more mileage. Maybe not, though, because then there would be, there'd be a chance that they'd be behind us after that. Eh, yeah, well. Can't win them all. But let's spend some money. I want this. Magnetic follow-up. Binary splashdown. What? Bolt claymore. That sounds cool. Where are all of the... Uh... Okay. I was hoping to maybe get something... Different there. Something like a, uh, a signature move. 
Hmm. Well, we can get two of these, so let's get that flagging sprite. Idealist mirror. Sure. Giant's heart might be kind of fun to start out with. Plain, but fun. All right, well, that stinks. That stinks, but we gave it our best go, but our best go was bad. Thank you, everybody, for watching. At least we made it to 3-2. I mean, that's, that's something. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.